Fort Monroe now belongs to the Commonwealth of Virginia. The Army decommissioned the historic fort this morning by order of BRAC, the Base Closure and Realignment Commission. Tell your side, Stephanie Harris takes us to the emotional event. Just take a look behind me. This is the largest stonewall fort ever built in U.S. history. Most of us read about it in books in school, but most of the people sitting in these bleachers today, for them, this place is about more than bricks and mortar. This is where they built careers, where they built their families, their lives. In true military fashion, Soldiers went about the business of closing Fort Monroe with stone faces and precision moves. But the eyes don't lie, and you can hear the sadness in the narrator's voice. The BRAC Commission announced that Fort Monroe would close by today, September 15, 2011. Chuck Valiant first came to Fort Monroe as a young major in 1973. He has spent more than half his life here. I think about all the friends and everything we've had here over the years, and, and I, I get tend to be a little weepy on occasion. My wife says I have a tender heart. And today, it is breaking. Not because he fears the future, he believes Virginia will preserve the history. We love this place, and you know, I, I got personal connections here. I remember it from my early days as an Army officer, and I really want to make sure now that we've got the stewardship of the place that we do it right. The heart of Fort Monroe will live on, but its soul, the colors under which it fought, are gone. They'll never be flown again. And that's what was sad about today. So as the Army closes the door at Fort Monroe, it is open to the general public. There will still be people here in the interim to direct traffic, but you no longer have to show your ID at the gate. You're free to go on and enjoy the Casemates Museum, the Fishing Pier, or Continental Park. Stephanie Harris, Ted on your side. There is growing political momentum to have part of Fort Monroe designated a national park. Other parts will be available for commercial use, but the governor says any business must be respectful and only approved after considerable public input.